Welcome back to In Your Face Horror, guys. My name is Alex, and today we are going to be talking about five movies that were actually inspired by true events. Before we get to it, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel as it will make it way easier for you to find us in the future. Enjoy the video. <laughs> The Silence of the Lambs One of the characters in The Silence of the Lambs was Buffalo Bill. Whole Buffalo was inspired by six real-life people, Ed Gein and Ted Bundy being two of them. The image of Ed Gein was clearly the inspiration for the effeminate way that Buffalo dressed. As for the inspiration for Ted Bundy, well that's a tad bit sneakier. Ted liked to play the wounded puppy, or the man in need of help card. It wasn't until he got them alone that he actually killed them. This was exactly how Buffalo was doing it in the film. The Amityville Horror. Amityville, in my opinion, didn't make that great of a film. Now the story that surrounds everything, way greater. Amityville is a village town in Suffolk County, New York that houses a terrible secret. One of the homes is insanely haunted. Kathleen and George Lutz, they're real people. When they moved in, they were regular people, just like you and me. By the time they left, 28 days later, they had many complaints about the house and the creepy things that went on. Green ooze, strange, pungent smells, even one of the rooms they were told to keep out of by one of the local priests. Some people don't believe in spirits in that way. And to them, I say this. Spend a month in that house. Less than that will prove to be way too much for you. The Exorcist. Alright, so this movie was inspired by the book, but the book was inspired by true events, so... In the late 1940s, a series of exorcisms were performed on a young boy known as Roland Doe. The events were even recorded by an attending priest, Raymond J. Bishop. There are tons of questions that surround the case of Roland Doe, but I think it's up to us to decide what we believe. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The 1976 critic award winning film The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was a fictional story about a fictional character who was actually inspired by a real person. Ed Gein was he who actually, fun fact, is from my home state of Wisconsin. Not that we should be bragging about that. But Ed Gein was defined as a ghoul, a grave digger. They found tons of items around his home made from human remains. A lamp made from human skin. Forks and spoons made from bones. Even a belt made out of nipples. The items that inspired Leatherface were a set of human skinned masks that were found at the crime scene. Let's face it, Ol' Eddie was the perfect inspiration for Leatherface. Nightmare on Elm Street. That's right guys, my favorite childhood movie was actually inspired by true events. Wes Craven admitted that he got the idea from a group of 18 Laotian refugees who actually died in their sleep. Prior to their deaths, these refugees had moved to America and sought out doctors regarding a parasite that was living underneath their skin as well as an imaginary venereal disease. The cause of death was labeled probable cardiac arrhythmia, however one of the deaths was labeled oriental nightmare death syndrome, known today as sudden unexpected death syndrome. So next time you have a nightmare, remind yourself that it's not real, or you could find yourself having a nightmare of Elm Street of your own. Thank you for watching that video, guys. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up, and if you really, really, really liked it, you should just go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't already, go ahead and do it. It's easy. It's right up there. Maybe it's down there. I don't know. It's, it's somewhere. If you're watching this from over here, then it's up there. If you're watching it from over here, then it's down there. Whatever. If you liked it, cool. Let us know down in the comments below. Give us the thumb, subscribe, I'll see you next time. Bye! Ted Pundy. Nipple belt. Ew. I have a apple. I have a pen. Apple pen. I don't f***ing understand, okay? I don't get a f***ing word you're saying to me, Becky. Maybe you should try to, like, f***ing say please, because I don't under f***ing stand what the f*** you're saying to me when you don't say f***ing please, Becky. What the f***? That's right, guys. My favorite childhood movie was actually inspired by true events. Can you say that about yours? Is what it sounds like I'm trying to say there. Let's try that again.